It's time now for French Connections, our look at the intricacies of life here in France with Solange Mujan. Hello to you, Solange. Uh, today you're starting with a look at uh, highways. What's so interesting about them? Well, l'autoroute, or these controlled access highways, evoke so many things about life in France, uh, from a love of country to the cost of living to cherishing vacation. And there is also a fair share of political scandal as well. Now, the first one dates back to 1927, with plans for a motorway between Paris and Normandy, where cruise ships were making stops. And that first portion of the A13, it was opened in 1941. But after World War II, France actually uh, fell behind behind uh, Germany and Italy in building these safer, faster roads. So to catch up, a major infrastructure project was launched in the 1960s and 70s. L'autoroute, c'est que est l'équivalent de ce qu'est dans l'organisme humain le système circulatoire. Elle apporte la vie. Solange, the cost of French highway tolls is the highest in Europe. Has it always been this way? Well, actually, the initial promise, it was for them to be free. And so these tolls or payages, as they are called in French, well, they were generally pretty accepted. La route de vos vacances, celle du soleil et de la Côte d'Azur, s'améliore. Qu'est-ce que vous pensez de l'utilisation des autoroutes d'une manière générale Ah, très très bien, une circulation facile et rapide. Nowadays, the tolls are actually a major source of frustration. A cross-country trip from Lille to Nice, for example, well, it costs over 100 euros. Vous allez bien faire 200. 200-300 So Solange, who is all the money going to? Well, the quick and dirty answer to this is that it's shareholders who are reaping a most of the profits for private companies have co contracts or concessions with the government. These firms run 90% of France's highways. Now, the state, the state actually owns these roads, and it used to have a stake in many of these companies. But in 2005 and 2006, under Prime Minister Dominique de Villepin, the government sold its shares. The privatization brought in nearly 15 billion euros to boost France's attractiveness by lowering its debt. Notre pays doit retrouver une capacité d'investissement dans l'avenir. Now, quite quickly, criticism spread that the deal was highway robbery. La privatisation des autoroutes engagées en 2005 a été une mauvaise affaire pour l'État. Now, what did the government lose by selling those shares? Well, its portion of 27 billion euros in dividends that have been paid out since that sale in 2006. And Solange, there's another date that's really important in the political saga of highways. Yeah, it's 2015 uh, when Environment Minister, then Environment Minister Segoren Royal, pushed for a freeze for one year in the annual toll hikes. It was then signed off by the then Finance Minister Emmanuel Macron. Vous souhaitez que les tarifs soient gelés Je le souhaite. Je le souhaite pourquoi Parce qu'il faut rendre aux automobilistes un peu de, de justice et d'équité tarifaire. Le gel des tarifs est acquis pour 2015, donc je vous le confirme. Now, negotiations and legal battles ensued, but it's not until 2019 that the contracts themselves were leaked. They included hikes to make up for the losses. Concessions were also extended, uh, with the top seven now running until 2030 and 36, and also clauses discouraging extra taxes by the government. But now, with these continued hikes in tolls, there's, as they are also linked to inflation, uh, some argue for a nationalization of hikes. Highways. Needless to say, the government says it won't be making the same mistakes again. But the current contracts are pretty ironclad, and many of those involved, well, they're still in the government. Uh, and does that bring us up to date? It doesn't, not entirely. Uh, an increase in environmental consciousness among French people has made new, new highways more controversial and protest prone, as we see with the protests on a new project of the A69. Donc la pression est extrêmement forte pour diminuer ces postes de transport. Donc c est, c est ce type, ces autoroutes sont, ou d'autres projets, en fait, nous verrouillent dans l'utilisation de, dans des développements qui sont carbonés. Now, the government continues to green light this southwest highway, but it says that others may be axed or changed. And additional taxes have also been proposed uh, to create uh, as well. Uh, this is creating a battle uh, between the government and these firms. Historiquement, c'est vrai que quand il y a eu des annonces politiques un petit peu défavorables aux sociétés d'autoroutes, généralement, euh, la justice a un petit peu rattrapé le coup derrière en accordant des compensations. As we to a lighter aspect, French highways are for many 
the road to voca- vacation. Yes, indeed they are. Be it weekends away, winter dashes to the mountains, or the summer exodus. Uh, bumper to bumper uh, traffic goes hand in hand with these French highways on certain days of the year. What are you doing in the voiture during the embouteillages? Attends, I'm going to bouquin. On écoute les bouchons. <laughs> on a prévu le pique-nique surtout. <laughs> now on August 2nd, 1975, there was, it was pegged then, the traffic jam of the century. So with some 60,000 stuck cars. So the following year, a traffic information map and site was created. And it is called Bison Futé, which is our word du jour. It literally translates to clever bison. For the mascot is an Indian tracker looking, I guess, for the open road. Now, Bison Foutier continues to help drivers navigate the chassé croisé, or the crisscross moment between July vacationers and uh, August ones. Now, besides for the are we there yet, mom, (laughs) moments, and also very important to note the worrisome climate impact of cars, the French, to quote the president himself, well, they do love their cars. And in summer or winter, uh, French people, well, they stay in France for their road trips. (laughs) All right. Well, thank you, Solange. To catch more uh, French connections, don't hesitate to go to our website, france24.com. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.